guys what is up welcome to race cakes thank you ever so much for clicking on today's video now today we are going to be making some more easter fun cuppy cakes and we're actually doing cupcakes this time i'm only going to be doing a couple in this video but these are going to be super easy and anybody can make these and you don't need a ton of tools now i do have my preferred size cookie cutter this is a two inch this is what i prefer to use to put on top of my cupcakes i am also going to be needing and i'm going to get it out right this second is my exacto knife because i'm going to be doing some cutting and you're just going to need your cupcake your buttercream and some sprinkles but my sprinkles is what is the inspiration for today i found these at walmart these are chilling with the peeps sprinkle mix you can hold it up you can see all the little chick chick peeps in there so this is the inspiration for today's video so i'm going to sit that right there now i do have some peeps cookie cutters but they are on the rather large side so they would be more appropriate for cakes or for cookies now because i'm doing cupcakes i decided to go online and i printed this out and what i'm going to do is i'm not 100 percent sure if i'm going to do the logo i might attempt it i'm not sure um but i wanted to print out the chick chick logo and the little bunny logo and that is what we are going to be doing so anybody can do this as long as you have a computer or printer just print your um, little templates out cut them out now i will be using my fondant modeling chocolate mix because i am going to be doing some cutting the only other supplies and tools that you will need are some sanding sugar and you use the color of the sanding sugar of the color of the peeps that you want so right here i just happen to have um some pink and green but i'm not going to be doing the green um i will get the yellow my yellow sanding sugar and whatever other colors that i need um out as i go along but yeah so this is today's inspiration and i've been talking for two minutes which is enough jibber jabber so let's get on with the video <laughs>
so that is going to wrap it up for this video. How freaking cute adorable are these? These two are my favorite. I do like these two. I know the chocolate. I think if the chocolate wasn't so disproportionate, I think they would be my favorite or if I just left them alone. Um, and actually, I forgot what I wanted to do was put a little bunny tail on one, but I did not do that. They're still super totally cute, but this is all I had for like little chocolate balls. Um, I don't have any other sprinkles that I could have used that were more proportionate for this size. But still, it's really cute. And these are actual, actual chocolate. So they're going to taste amazing. But they still look super cute. You have that sugar look. And I just, and I did this because I wanted to get the double layer. Because you know how like that's like a little squished. But yeah, a little um, suggestion is if you do these and you do this logo, print to and cut these ahead of time. I would roll out fondant and let it get rough, get that nice skin on it and then cut. I know some people freeze their fondant as well. So just some suggestions with this. Now this, these took, these four took me over an hour to do. If I had my letters and stuff cut prior to this, that might not would have taken me so long, but they are so cute. I did mess up a little there, but that's okay. But you get a general idea. Again, this one is my favorite. So cute with all the little peep sprinkles. And I thought the yellow, I've been dropping sprinkles everywhere. So super cute. And then there's this one. So thank you guys so much again for watching. Have a most wonderful and happy Easter, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!